hello everybody welcome to the channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to make your own DIY uh, thermostatic water bath so if you do not have a water bath you know what water bath is water bath is what we use to um to eat our oil phase and water phase okay before we mix them together or if you need any heating um control heating in the lab this is what you use right so if you do not have a thermostatic water bath i have a good idea for you today and then i'm going to call this a d high y uh lab water bath so what you basically need is uh is a heating uh, medium okay make sure you have something you can you you can heat used to heat then you're going to need um a steam pan okay you're going to need a steam pan it's very very important uh, like on my desk here I have different sizes okay depending on the your heating uh, equipment okay you may want to go for the size uh, one by six okay or you can go for one by nine or you can even go for a bigger one like this you can use this on the stove okay this size in case you want to get it i have a link in the description box below this size is one over two these are called steam pan okay so you can use steam pan to heat your oil and water so if you, if you cannot afford a thermostatic or a lab water bath please use this it's very very effective so basically what you're going to need is you're going to need a hot plate or a stove so go for a hot plate or a stove that's the first thing you want to have then what you need is uh you're going to need a thermometer please bear with me my desk is a mess so you're going to need a thermometer i have a thermometer here and uh, what is the function of this so basically what you let's say you want to make lotion for instance you need to eat your oil phase and water phase right so what you have to do is to put some water on here okay turn on the heat i'm using a uh, a hot plate of stir by uh, Joan Lab. I have a link in the description box below, and also I can link, uh, give you a link to bigger um, hot plate. So you need that. So put your your steam pan, okay, on the hot plate, and put some water in it. So your first step is to have a eating medium use your steam pan then put some water in it so make sure that water is uh, at the level of the type of beaker you want to use so let's say for instance you want to use uh, you want to use this beaker right so make sure you put enough water depending on what you have inside Put enough water at least to get to the um, middle of that beaker, okay? Okay, that's one thing you want to make sure you have enough water in it. So then you're going to ask me, what do I need a thermometer for? A thermometer is, the, is what we're going to use to match, to check the temperature of the water we have in there. Remember, we have to heat our oil phase and water phase most of the time to 70 degrees Celsius. When you want to make a lotion so as to kill the microbes in both in her in the ingredient right so basically what you should do is make sure your um your water is at least at 75 degrees celsius so turn on your heat and keep checking if you want to speed this up you can just boil your water and, pu and pour it in it but make sure you're checking so put in your Please bear with me, my desk is a bit, it's a mess right now. Hot plate or stove. So if you don't have hot plate, make sure you go for stove, but make sure you check the heat. Okay. And it has to be at 75 degrees Celsius so that the heat loss, you can have five degree, uh, five Celsius. Okay. Five degrees Celsius of heat loss. That's perfect. Just make sure your water be increasing your eating medium okay be increasing the heat until you get a stable reading of 75 degrees celsius that will take some time once you reach that then you can just leave your eating medium where it is okay then you are good to eat your 
oil phase and water phase ingredients and if what you are making is just one phase ingredient like a lotion i'm going to make uh, in few hours time i'm going to show you how to make a warm beaker lotion the easiest way uh that is also good so eat your water up to 75 degrees celsius you don't have to really but just keep checking because you don't want we don't want to over it also once it reaches 75 degrees celsius you are good to go and also if you have a point and shoot uh, infrared thermometer that can even give you a better reading so now we have 34 34.4 degrees celsius so we want to check so you leave it for a while and continue checking until you get the appropriate reading okay so this is something you can use okay in place of a thermostatic water bath in my previous video i showed i've showed you uh, a thermostatic water bath that can make your job easier right for eating your oil phase water phase or for melting your butter and other ingredients you can use to make beauty product right so the best thing i use often time when i'm making personal product not uh, professional product is uh, i use the stove especially if i want to make a big lotion or body butter for the family or friends right i use stove so basically what i do is uh i use the size or even one third okay how do you know the size of your eating pan you check and the label is going to tell you half size or one quarter size uh one quarter one third and so on and so forth but uh half size is this size so just have an idea how how big half size is okay this is good for stove and one one quarter is also good for stove so if you want to make large amounts of beauty product this is something you want to use but if you just want to make sample you can go for this size okay so continue to heat it and continue checking to see what you have there and if it's not moving you want to increase the temperature of your eating medium see i'm increasing it here increase the temperature of your eating medium of your hot plate until you get gets to 75 degrees celsius once you are there okay then you can put in your water face ingredient or any ingredient you want to melt remember the size of your eating medium must be equal to equal to the amount of product you want to make so if you want to make big product right now for example if you want to make lotion with two beakers you're going to need a bigger one okay you're going to need a bigger pan and you are going to need a bigger eating medium so i just want to give you an idea this is another wonderful thing you can do if you do not want to invest in a lab scale or thermostatic water bath or if you've been using uh, maybe your pot or double boiler before this is better for you as long as you have um, a thermometer you can use to check okay as long as you can you can as long as you have a thermometer to check the temperature of your water okay so that's uh, basically what you do make sure you check the temperature of your water at least let your water be up to 75 degrees celsius even 80 degrees celsius is okay because you want to put uh, into consideration heat loss in the process right so that's why I always recommend 75 degrees Celsius to 80 degrees Celsius. First thing, uh, if you have been eating your oil and butter without measuring the temperature of the water you are going to you are using, then you might have been overeating your uh, ingredient. So don't do that uh, anymore. Make sure you wait first. Adjust the temperature of either your eating medium, your stove, okay, or your depending on what you are using make sure you adjust the temperature once you adjust the temperature make sure it's between 75 and 80 degrees celsius then you can put your ingredient in the beaker don't forget cover the beaker with a foil okay cover the beaker with a foil so that water cannot get into it okay so i hope uh, you have picked one of two things from this uh, video 
thanks for joining me in my next video i'm going to show you how to use this process this step very simple step to make your own lotion so that lotion we're going to make we're going to use only one beaker for it so a beaker lotion how effective would that be i will show you and you're going to see how wonderful that is and how interesting that is you know there are guns are days when you have to make lotion by eating the oil face separately eat the water face se no no we have now gone to a stage at stablecosmetiformulas.com we have gone to a stage where we can make our lotion with one beaker so if you have not joined us join us at stablecosmeticformulas.com where you have access to stable formulas to make your beauty product for your own family for yourself or you know for your friends or even for your clients okay that's what stable cosmetic formula is for so don't forget have an eating medium use a steam pan why i don't recommend you using a stove is that you know a stove is going to uh, take more heat so it's going to tend to overeat and in the process you are actually destroying the precious property of your beauty uh, raw material so keep that in mind when you are when you are using this process or when you are eating your oil and water face so i wish you happy formulating you know, if you love formulation or if you want to learn how to make beauty products, this is the channel you want to subscribe to so click that subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when i uh, upload that video on how to make one beaker lotion it's interesting trust me so stay tuned for that video don't forget click the subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified of my next video happy formulating everyone